respiratory system. So, in case of the study, the study which deals with uh, uh, what we say the group of respiratory diseases, okay, the group of respiratory diseases is commonly called as pneumoconiosis, which is called as pneumoconiosis, which means group of respiratory disorders. So, under this, there are presence of the diseases or disorders like asthma, emphysema, thereafter we have occupational lung disorders, pneumonia, bronchitis, carbon monoxide poisoning and many more number of diseases. But uh, we will discuss among them these uh, six which are being uh, present. Right. The first one is said to be asthma. Asthma is basically a disorder which occurs due to allergy. One, for one particular factor that is allergy. So, a chemical which causes allergy is called as allergen and this allergen is being involved in causing the disease, respiratory disease which is called as asthma. So, what happens in case of the asthma? So, for example, when a person comes in contact with an allergen, allergen may be a dust or it may be animal hair or it may be animal dander or it may be pollen grain. So, when that particular substance, okay, when it enters into that of the respiratory tract, it causes inflammation of the mucous membrane. Means the mucous membrane which is being lining in that of the trachea and the bronchi, it may be primary, secondary, tertiary. So that mucous membrane gets swollen or inflamed. So when the inflammation of the mucous membrane takes place, then the passage, the airway which is there, so that gets a narrowing. Thereby, it prevents allowing of the air into the lungs. So that results into a suffocation, a problem in breathing, uh, woozing, uh, coughing. All these are being commonly the symptoms which are being associated with uh, the asthma. So when the inflammation takes place of the mu uh, mucous membrane, passage or the airways become blocked or narrowing, thereby it prevents the entry of the air to the lungs. So that is said to be asthma. And uh, the people who are suffering from the asthma, so they use a pump that is called as asthma pump. So when they uh, pump it, so whatever the chemical is being present that enters into the respiratory tract, thereby making that inflamed mucous membrane to come back to their normal uh, position. So thereby the uh, individual again uh, uh, feels better and uh, normal. So that is first one. Next one is uh, emphysema. Emphysema is a disorder which occurs uh, due to damage to that of alveolar walls and this emphysema is a type of uh, uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases and remember both these are there asthma as well as emphysema so these are said to be chronic remember there are two words first one is called as acute the other one is called as chronic acute means which is there for uh, short period of time in the body that is acute whereas chronic means it is lifelong so those you have to remember emphysema is a condition which is being seen in case of the people who smoke the cigarettes cigar cigarettes anything so in case of them the alveolar walls gets uh, damaged so when the alveolar walls gets damaged there is decrease in the respiratory surface so what exactly happens here See, you should remember that uh, a cigarette which is there, it contains more than 700 uh, different types of chemical. And whenever a person smokes or burns it, so there are around 64 chemicals which are present among the 700, which are being directly said to be the carcinogens, which are being induced in causing uh, the cancer. So that is secondary part. But here, when the smoke starts depositing in that of the alveoli, at that time, the alveoli uh, forms or produces an enzyme. So that enzyme is called as elastase. So this elastase enzyme now acts upon, okay, it acts upon the elastic fibers which are present in the alveoli, thereby reducing the elastin. Okay, that protein elastin is being denatured and thereby the elasticity of the alveoli is being lost. So when that elasticity is being lost, then the exchange of the gases between the alveoli to the blood vessels, so that gets uh, reduced. So that is emphysema. Next is based on the occupation. Okay, there are three main types. First one is called as silicosis. Next is asbestosis, and the last one is called as black lung disease. 
सिलिकोसिस इज बेसिकली अ डिसीज एसोसिएटेड वे अ पर्सन इनहेल्स सिलिका ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल द पीपल हु आर वर्किंग इन केस ऑफ द वॉच इंडस्ट्रीज वेयर दे आर प्रिपेयरिंग दिस डायल एंड ऑल सो देर दैट सिलिका विच इज बींग रिलीज और फॉर्मड वेन दैट एंटर्स इन टू दैट ऑफ द लंग सो दैट पॉजिस सिलिकोसिस सिमिलरली विथ दैट ऑफ द पर्सन हु आर वर्किंग विथ दैट ऑफ द एसबेस्ट ऑस सो वेन दे इनहेल द एसबेस्ट ऑस इन टू दियर लंग्स देन दैट रिजल्ट इन टू एसबेस्ट ऑसिस एंड लास्ट वन इज द ब्लैक लंग डिसीज वेयर the people who are working with the coal mining in such industries when the coal gets inhaled so that keep on depositing into the lungs thereby blocking the alveolar sites thereby making the problem with that of the respiration in case of those individuals and of these okay these are when they start accumulating then there is a growth of the fibrous tissue what we can call it as a fibrosis may be seen so that growth of fibrous tissue may prevent the process of respiration so this is Uh, occupational lung disorders and uh, the people who are working in such industries they need to cover uh, their entire nasal chamber as well as the oral cavity with uh, a high quality of the mask which prevents its entry that is entry of these substances into the lungs next is we have pneumonia pneumonia is an another uh, respiratory disorder which is being associated with that of uh, the infection where the infection can occur by the help of the streptococcus pneumoniae as well as uh, the diplococcus pneumoniae as well as haemophilus influenzae so what happens here is when this particular bacteria enter into the respiratory system they invade and uh, inflammation of the alveoli alveolar membrane takes place so when the inflammation occurs uh there is a damage actually and thereafter in the alveolar membrane when the damage occurs the mucus like uh, substance and the pus starts accumulating in the alveoli thereby uh, causing a problem for the exchange of the gases so that is pneumonia so in case of pneumonia it may be like it may be a bronco pneumonia or it may be a lobar pneumonia depending upon the particular part or the entire part of the lung is being infected we differentiate pneumonia in two two types next is as i said uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disorders or diseases uh, one is the emphysema the other one is uh, there is uh, bronchitis so in case of bronchitis so this is an another disease uh, where the inflammation of the bronchioles takes place so when the inf inflammation occurs when the uh, bronchioles are being inflamed the air cannot enter into the lungs thereby a person suffers from uh, hypoxia and uh, if it is not being treated then it may be like it results into anoxia and la later it may result into the death of the individual also so that is uh, bronchitis next we have a carbon monoxide poisoning carbon monoxide poisoning is a case where Uh, it is being commonly being seen in case of the sea divers when a sea diver dives into water uh, for more than some uh, 100 feet or something without carrying an oxygen cylinder so there is a possibility that that individual may die that is due to accumulation of the carbon monoxide so what happens is from the tissues the carbon dioxide which is being formed so that gets uh, dissociating into co that is carbon monoxide as well as the o and when these o molecules oxygen molecules keep on increasing so they start binding to that of the tissues whereas the carbon monoxide which is being formed now so this carbon monoxide has 200 times more affinity than oxygen to bind with the hemoglobin so the hemoglobin starts binding with the carbon monoxide thereby uh, preventing the binding of the oxygen to that of the hemoglobin and that results into the death of the individual that is called as carbon monoxide poisoning so this is the earlier part the latest what we have is the corona so corona is also one of the respiratory disorder as you know that it does it is affecting both the upper respiratory tract as well as the lower respiratory tract and basically this corona covid 19 is being a disease which is being associated where the inflammation of the alveolar walls takes place thereafter problem is being associated with that of the entire process of respiration so this is all about uh, 
ऑक्सीजन डिसोसिएशन का रेगुलेशन ऑफ रेस्पिरेशन डिसऑर्डर ऑफ द रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द टॉपिक दट इज ब्रीदिंग एंड एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेस